What's up everybody, Chris with B-Minus Demos here, and today we're taking a look at the JHS Muffaletta. Let's go. Before we get into this, if you are new here, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. If you're returning, also thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, leave me a comment, turn on the notification bell, all of those things. Today we're looking at the Muffaletta from JHS. This is a multi-mode muff, which is a fun little alliteration. It's a nice utility pedal, much like the Pack Rat that I did a video on several months ago, comparing that to the Black Mass 1312. Uh, this has just a handful of modes, so maybe for the kind of person that you like different muff sounds, but you don't love it enough that you really want to buy a lot of different versions of a muff, I think this is probably a really cool pedal to have. This is by no means the only pedal out there that does something like this. And then you have pedals that maybe don't have specific takes on other muffs, but they do have a lot of flexibility. Um, and so this isn't the only thing out there, but I do think it's a good option if you're like, hey, I'm looking for the muff sound from this specific version. This has your classic volume sustain tone like you see on a lot of muff pedals. And I'm gonna read off the list uh, of muff versions. So you start with the Civil War, uh, more mid-range, brighter overall tone, less gain. Then you have the Russian, less clarity, less low end. Then you have the Pi, uh, best known for a more aggressive sound. Triangle, more low end and more articulation. I'll go ahead and tell you guys, that one's my favorite. I love the triangle muff. Uh, I have played a couple of triangle muffs recently and it was my first time. And I was like, this, this is my favorite muff. <laughs> then you have the 73 Rams head, which is a scooped mid-range, less gain and overall darker tone. And you have 2015, JHS 2015. Uh, I guess it's their own take on the muff. Uh, more powerful, less compressed, and more haunting mid-range, also best for bass. So we're going to get into these sounds. Uh, I kind of started with tone and sustain at noon, and then for most of them I made, you know, a few adjustments. I mean, it's a muff pedal. You guys know what it sounds like. I just wanted to be able to check this out. Um, I love a muffaletta sandwich, uh, which is the first thing several years ago that made this stand out to me. At the time, when I first learned about this, I could not care less about fuzz, so I just never tried it. Um, but I love the kind of olive drab color that they have going. They have a black one also. I like this one better. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks really cool. For amp and cab, I'm using the Boss IR2. I'm on the clean setting, which is just kind of a generic clean amp that Boss came up with. I think it was also in the Katana. And then instead of using the Celestion 112 that it's loaded with, I actually put in um, an Own Hammer 412 uh, orange cab mic'd with a 421 and a 121, I think. Last thing before I start with the tones, after I cycle through everything, I'm gonna set it to kind of my favorite setting and I'll just play a couple of chords and then we'll be done.
That was the JHS Muffaletta. Uh, it's a cool pedal. If you like muffs, but you're not necessarily into them enough to own a whole bunch of different versions, I think this is a really cool thing. Uh, I've, I've said it earlier, it's not the only thing that does this. There are a lot of really flexible muffs out there. For me, my kind of go-to muff is the Fuzzamp Sender V. I also really like the EHX kind of small box uh, triangle muff reissue. And I think it's Stomp Underfoot that has a triangle muff that I really like. There are other ones out there that I like, but uh, you know, this is neat. Um, it is really whiny. Um, I know fuzz pedals are noisy. This one has a really, really high pitched whine where sometimes this can get a really low kind of rumble in the background. This has a really high pitched whine, but yeah, that would, that's, that's maybe my only complaint. Um, this is a fine pedal. I think it's cool. I do like it better than I liked the Pack Rat. For me, uh, I just, especially when comparing something like the Pack Rat to the Black Mass 1312, it just didn't hold up. I think this is cool, um, and I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Uh, have an awesome week. Later. Yeah.